Hello everybody, it's Itamog217, welcome to a pretty cool vlog, I, I'd assume it was going to be. Um, today is April the 24th, and it's a LEGO release, this is the only reason the vlog would be happening, let's be honest. So, what's LEGO, what LEGO is releasing? Well, we'll get to that in a bit. I just want to show off what's slightly changed in LEGO Room, because it's been a while since I've done a vlog showing an update. I've kind of changed some stuff around, so... Let's show that off real quick. One thing that's changed the most is probably this entire shelf a little bit. Um, this shelf has been cleared off of the one Ninjago set and just the random whatever. Um, you can kind of see the imprint in the dust uh, with the lighting to see how bad it is for how long it's been unattended for. Like, that needs some proper dusting. <laughs> anyway, this is just going to end up turning into my... Buzz Lightyear Toy Story theme display, maybe. I'm still pretty iffy on having the cars displayed there. I even pulled the 4 plus one out of storage just for display purposes, I guess. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'll count that. I don't know. I'm still going up and back and forth. If I want this to be a Lightyear display or a Toy Story one. But for now, it's a Buzz Lightyear slash misprint kind of display. Because I got the mis mismolded Zerg and the CMF that... Is a weird packaging that I found on my own. I also threw in the Dark Trooper Battle Pack since I had mostly Luke Skywalker stuff here, so I thought I'll just throw that in there next to my droid army. <laughs> um, this has kind of turned into a bit of a mess, unfortunately. I need to get that cleaned uh, ever since I tore down the Mario World and put it up in the corner over there. Um, Batman display needs to be a little bit organized as well, but I did take the 89 Batmobile off to kind of dust it a little bit. And so I kind of rearranged the displays a little bit, but not finalized. Um, we do have some more brick heads added to the collection, although that display is not going to be final because I kind of want to move these around a bit because uh, Star Wars needs to go with the Star Wars stuff. And uh, Pets is its own thing at this point, I guess, for brick heads, to be honest. So they just kind of go at the end of the collection. But it's looking really good so far. Um, the Zane Shrine, um, kind of progressing a little bit, although being a mess. Um, I just kind of put these here as like a reminder of myself that I have to do videos on them. I did pick up this Target Cube from the Brick Bin a few weeks ago as of the time of this recording. Very much happy that I own this now, mainly for that figure so I can eventually throw it out with my other Dragon Extreme Ninja. Um, I have been trying to assemble a Possession Zane because I'm trying to get every... Uh, Zane minifigure variant or whatever, um, if that makes sense. So I'm just mis missing the shoulder armor, but I will probably get my hands on that when I visit Lifebrooks, aka Tyler, at Brickworld Chicago. Um, pile of boxes for review sets is slowly going down, uh, but that's just progress, I guess. Desk also a mess, um, but again, it's all just a process in getting everything display the way I like it, like this over here, that is an entire mess in the process of X many weeks. I got some stuff, I even bought an extra storage container for the Bricklink store. I've actually kind of changed, I used to have it right there, but now it's over there. So I'm just not sure where I keep my Bricklink store stuff anymore, but I've just been throwing everything around. I'm thinking this is going to be like the odds and ends Ninjago sets, like the big Ninjago sets thing. Again, this set, you saw it was on the shelf over there. And it is that dusty still, so I need to get that cleaned. But um, Minecraft World just migrated up to here. Not sure if I showed that off before. So definitely lots of moving stuff around lately. So very cool. Anyway, uh, we might as well start heading out the door to head to the Lego store. Also, before I forget, I also threw added some new FNAF action figures to the action figure wall of sorts. So... Thanks to Squidman for hooking me up with Captain Foxy. I'll always be thankful for that. And I recently came across Toy Bonnie, or sorry, System Error Bonnie, which glows in the dark at my local GameStop. So that's a shocker for me because we normally don't get FNAF merch in stores anymore. Anyway, speaking of stores, let's actually head to the Lego store now. So I didn't really mention this, but um, essentially I got a Brooklyn quarter last night. Um, so I invoiced them assuming that they would pay right away, which they did. So I brought this with me because I'm going to be also having to fill out the address and shipping out this order. It's essentially just a pair 
of minifigure legs because I did drop the minimum buyer requirement to a dollar. So if you want to buy something off my Bricklink store, you now only have to spend one Canadian dollar to get it, uh, essentially. So links in the description. Anyway, I'm just waiting for the bus right now and hopefully it will be here soon. All right, so after a long bus ride, I'm finally at the mall. It's quite dead inside because nothing's really open yet, which is fair. So just walk into the store. I don't think there's gonna be much of a lineup with what I'm waiting for. You guys will know in just a minute, I know I'm dragging it out, but I'm just trying to contain my excitement. I've been waiting for these sets for a while. I was bugging my friends a lot about just pit leaked images even for the longest time. So very excited to get my hands on the, the set today. All right, I'm at the store now. This is what they have for their store displays right now. Really cool stuff. They even have a little poster teasing the May 4th promotional items. Um, you know, Star Wars week. Um, the store should be open up or maybe a bit soon here. So very excited to get my hands on the new release for today. So taking a peek through the window, you guys can see the new Lightyear sets right there. I can't wait to pick them up. That's what I'll be picking up today. Okay, so I just got out of the Lego store and my god, I can never just buy one thing. I set a plan for just buying one thing. I end up walking with more than that. So anyway, I'm gonna go wandering around the wall for a minute here see what I can stumble across and then I'm gonna head home and show you guys what I got today. Since you guys kind of already know, but still. <sighs> I'm, I'm very excited. So I was almost completely about to leave the mall when I realized I saw the ship out that package. So I'm on my way to Shoppers right now, which opens up in five minutes. So that should be pretty easy to ship out. And then it's just heading home. All right, I just got home from the Lego store and I guess we'll just quickly show off what I got because I'm gonna be building at least one of these sets live in a few minutes as the time's recording. So first set we got is four plus set. <laughs> Uh, this is the first time, probably, hopefully the only time I buy a 4 plus set on its release day. Mainly got it just for the figs and just because I wanted something cool to build. So, that's what I'll be building later as the time is recording. And then the other set I picked up, I was originally going to pick up the other one that would have made it so I only spent 5 bucks on it. But I asked you guys via Insta poll, and you guys said you guys wanted to see this for a review first. So... I picked up the Buzz Lightyear spaceship. I'm really excited to get this, to build this. Uh, probably will build it maybe next week as the time's recording. But I'm very hyped to get those figures, especially socks. I'm very interested to see how much he'll go for on Bricklink because that may be the next army builder project, if I'm being honest. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much the haul from today. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. If so, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, leave your thoughts down below on the vlog, and if you guys got any light year sets or you're planning on getting any, I know a few people are waiting until the movie comes out. I probably could have, but I'm just, I'm such a big Buzz Lightyear fan. I just had to pick up something. Anyway, again, thank you everyone so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in a future video. Till then, see you later. Bye.